Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. Here are the topics for today's video. Have a close look and let's get started. Now the first thing we will do, read an Excel file. Let me show you one of the Excel file which I have known as test data. So this is the Excel file contains few data. Let's see how you can read using pandas. Now for this, first of all, let me put it in a bigger screen. Now below this cell, let's insert a cell below and then start writing the code. Now the first thing we will do is import pandas as pd and then create a variable df for data frame equals to pd dot read underscore excel because our job is to read here. So the code is quite simple read underscore excel. Now inside this we have to pass the path of the file. Now to get the path of the file you can highlight hit on the shift key right click and then you would find something as copy as path. Get back here simply write a R string and paste it. Okay. So this is how you will be passing the file to a data frame variable which is an excel file in this case. Now let's print this file and see what is the output that we are getting simply by saying df shift enter. Now let's see what is the output that we will get on this one. So what is happening? I got the output, right? If you have a close look at my Excel sheet, it has got two different sheets, sheet one and sheet two. Primarily, it is only pulling the sheet one data. How about sheet two? What happened to the sheet two, right? So let's see how you can read Excel from all the sheets, right? All the different sheets that you may have. Okay, so let me hit on, you can do a B or you, know, you can simply click on a B keyboard to get a new cell. Let me do that. And here I would like to read everything. So let me copy this code. Okay, so there's a parameter that you have to learn here. The parameter is sheet underscore name. Sheet underscore name is the argument, okay, which you have to pass. Now here you have to pass the sheet names. For example, here I have got sheet one, this is one sheet, and then comma within quotes, you can pass the sheet number two. So I'm passing two different sheets now. Now if you simply print this, for example, if I'm printing DF, this is how the format is coming, which is not right. Now when you're passing multiple sheets, ensure to print it accurately, write the sheet name here. Okay, now hit on shift, enter, and you can see properly it has got me the data. For example, if I'm writing sheet two, shift enter, you can see it has given me the proper data. So this is quite useful when you have multiple sheets and you would like to read the data from multiple sheets. So this particular code with the argument sheet underscore name will be quite useful. Now the next question that comes to our mind, how do I read Excel to get specific columns? For example, here I have got multiple different columns, right? Now I would like to get only very specific columns, right? Let's like say brand, model or storage, few things I need. Okay. Now in that case, how do I get it? Okay. Now for that, let me insert a cell below. Let me copy this above code. And here, because we are very particular about the columns, we'll be passing only any one sheet. Okay. Because columns are specific to that particular sheet, right? So now remove this. So I'm passing only uh, sheet two. Okay. So here I'm going to use another argument called use columns. What is it? Use columns. Inside this, you have an option to write what are the columns names you need. For example, I need the brand column. I need the model column. Let's say two columns. So I will mention brand as first column, comma. And I'm going to mention model as my second column. Now, if I hit on shift enter, let's see what is the data, how the data is coming. So the data is not coming in the proper way because anytime using your sheet name, right? Anytime you're using the sheet name, ensure with your data frame, you're passing like this. Okay. Now you can see the brand and model. So as many columns that you need, you can specify within this square bracket. Pretty simple. Okay. Now let's learn the next thing. How do I read Excel column names? Let's say how many columns are there in a given X, given data frame if I would like to read. Okay, so how do I do it? Now for that, 
for example here I'm going to copy paste this the initial one where I'm reading sheet one so let me pass only any one sheet that's a sheet two and I would like to know the columns so simply write columns here okay simply write data frame sheet two columns shift enter and you will be able to see for that sheet you have so many columns getting it battery camera display storage brand model so dot column is the method that you have to use okay now you have another question Rakesh what if uh, I want to get all the sheet names I don't know how many sheets are present in, in a given file I would like to know all the sheet names okay if you like to know all the sheet names there's another method okay let me create a variable called excel sheets xls uh, equals to I'm going to use pandas pd dot there is something called excel file okay excel file requires this file path argument where is your file okay so I'm simply passing this file into it now once you pass it what would happen it is going to read all the sheet names just by you writing this code simply say sheet underscore names okay sheet underscore names if you pass this what would happen now if I'm going to print the XLS you can see it, it has informed me this particular Excel file contains sheet 1 and sheet 2 these are the names of the sheets okay so you have learned some five different important areas around the read Excel so thank you guys for watching give it a like to this video and do subscribe to the channel in case you have not done it let's meet once again in our next content till then take care